Konnichiwa everyone, Sailor V here, and today I present to you a new doll. This is Hunger Games Catching Fire Katniss. She is a Barbie Collector Black Label doll, which means, yes, she is a collector, and she's quite beautiful. This doll came out back in like 2013, so I sadly didn't get the chance to cop her. However, I got her from a seller on Mercury for like $37, which is pretty good. And she's basically in mint condition, so... Let's show you guys the box. So down at the bottom, it says the Hunger Games Catching Fire Katniss Barbie Collector Black Label. And then there is a picture of the actress, Jennifer Lawrence. And honestly, the resemblance between her and the doll is like really good. On this side, it says Katniss. On this side, it says the Hunger Games Catching Fire. Every revolution begins with a spark. Down here, it's just the standard Mattel label. Up here, there's a picture of the second Mockingjay pin. Because, as some Hunger Games fans know, it changes throughout the series. And then we have the back of the box, which is so cute. This is a complete picture of the Mockingjay pin. Down here, they have the description of what's going on in the story. Pause to read. And then down here, it has some more stuff. And now it's time for my favorite part, the moment where we take her out of the box. And she's out. Here's the doll in her full glory, and honestly, she looks really beautiful. As in all my reviews, let's start off with the accessories. Our first accessory is this plastic bow with a string. So the majority of the bow is silver, but these two front parts, they are painted black. The middle part of the bow's details are honestly amazing. They look so accurate to what a real archery bow looks like. As you can see, every little detail is there, and there's even the little slot um, right here for where the arrow is supposed to slide in. Here's the quiver. So basically the quiver part, it's like a, it's a black plastic, but it's very rubbery. And the arrows, they move around, like they can move around, but they don't come out, which is honestly so stupid, because I would have loved to see at least one of these arrows come out for like action shots of Katniss. And you can strap it to her with this black ribbon. Here's the Certificate of Authenticity. Certificate of Authenticity. The Hunger Games Catching Fire, Katniss. This certifies that your Hunger Games Catching Fire doll was created by the designers and artists at Mattel. Barbie Collector Black Label, 2013 Mattel All Rights Reserved. Okay, so I was right, this was made back in 2013. Anyways, I think it's time for what we've all been waiting for, the doll. So these are her boots. The mold is very intricate and you can see the little like lines and you can even see where they made the laces. There's no heel to it, it's more function boots, if that makes sense. I've previously heard that they're really hard to remove because the black strap right here. Working our way up, here we have the knee pads. They're not removable unless you were to slide them off the doll. As you see here, they're mostly fabric, but the part for the knees, it's actually like this black plastic. Interesting part about this doll is that the bodysuit actually connects to her fingers. So there's that little strap right there. And this is quite movie accurate, because I remember looking back to see the movie, and that's what they looked like. On this part of her bodysuit, as we can see, the majority of it is black, but there are certain places where they place the gray honeycomb details, such as the size of her thighs, her wrists, and her chest and stomach, and her back as well. Speaking of which, you probably noticed that this doll is sewed on, so you can't remove the outfit without damaging the clothing. Throughout her forearms, there are kind of like these little stitching details that are gray. Near the shoulder, the fabric is white, however, there are gray honeycomb details that fade as you go up. In the back, we have these plastic pieces that make up her shoulder pads. Unlike her knee pads, this is actually sewed onto the bodysuit, while the knee pads are attached to a removable piece of fabric. Her hair color is a mix of brown and black, and I think the color is quite similar to my Wonder Woman doll if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, her hair is styled in her iconic braid. The braid is attached to the bodysuit with brown string, and almost every part of her hair is very much gelled. Her bang pieces are tied to the sides of her head, and they're done so with brown string, just like down here. I personally like how Mattel did this. I think it gives her a more realistic and cleaner look. Now let's take a look at her face. From Barbie collector doll faces I've seen before, Katniss's face is quite, let's say, subtle. If you look closely, you notice that Katniss has blush on her cheeks. Her lip color is more of a simple faded pink. Her eyes are like this greenish gray color, and her eyebrows are a much lighter brown than the hair. 
It's not only the paint that has helped this doll look like Jennifer Lawrence. It's also the face mold, which I believe that Mattel specifically made for this doll. The first Katniss doll did not have as beautiful of a face mold as this one does. In fact, the previous Katniss doll looked more like Glimmer, who was a female tribute from District 1 in the movie before. Overall, this is a very beautiful and realistic doll. The outfit and her accessories are very well made. I wish that Mattel is able to put more good quality into their dolls like they did with her. But honestly, other than that, like, this doll is so fucking pretty. Like, literally look at every inch of her and tell me that she's not. Mwah! Iconic. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at BenevolentMysteryDolls. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!